Okay, uh, good evening guys. Um, this is just a quick video to share what I've done uh, building this kiln controller. Um, so, as I've um, shown before, there's a said kiln minus its lid uh, with the uh, thermocouple down here. Um, I showed the lid before because I just punched them holes and put the connectors in, but now I've uh, integrated all the guts. So, oh, oh, kneeling down, all my knees. Right, um, hope you can see that okay. Okay, well I've got, it is live. I've got mains coming in at the moment. Now, pardon the dodgy mains cable. It's not gonna be that, obviously. It's not connected to the heater at the moment and there's not even an earth. Um, but I just had a bit of mains cable. I just piped it in. So, sorry about that. So anyway, chocolate block here is the uh, mains. In. These are all 30 amp chocolate blocks. Um, so we've got mains coming in through mains uh, live neutral earth. Um, and then basically, it's, it's pretty simple, and there's a lot of wires, but it's, it is straightforward. The mains, basically, live mains comes in uh, through this circuit breaker. So the mains initially comes in through the circuit breaker before the main switch. Then there's the main switch. Um, so then main, the, the uh, protected switched mains comes down to this chocolate block here. This is uh, switched live. And then this chocolate block here is neutral. Um, and they're kind of like bridged at the bridged at the bottom, so that they're all effectively one one right bus bar. Uh, there's probably a few electricians that are fainting at this moment, but yeah, it'll be fine. Right uh, there, here is the uh, PID controller. Uh, now the only this is the um, cable for the uh, for the um, thermocouple. And I didn't want to cut this because a it's all all pre-made and. Uh, and I've got a feeling that the cable is actually connect the, the cable and the thermocouple together are, are calibrated. So if I cut the cable short, then I could get. A, I think I might get a false reading off the thermocouple. So I've been quite careful, and I've cable tied it very, very firmly to the bottom because obviously this is a metal shield, and I've got live mains floating around in here. So that's nailed to the bottom of the box. It, it, it's not going anywhere. And then it comes up here uh, into so that's the thermocouple input. And we've got uh, the common uh, halt or stop run line. And then in the back there, you can't really see it. There's live mains going into the, um, live mains going into the, to the, to the uh, PID controller. It is mains powered. Um, and then there's two connectors that you can't really see back there, which run down to the, this little puppy. This is a 40 amp mains or 40 amp 380 volt solid state relay so you've got a control input going in the bottom which is directly driven from the um pid controller you've got live mains going in here into the left hand connector and you've got uh well then switched mains coming out of the uh right hand connector so that right hand connector will ultimately go to the heater the heater is going to be connected through here through this there'll be a, a like a coaxial metal cable protector coming out of here so the so basically the um heater is going to wire to the to the right hand side of this uh solid state relay and also to the final output of the neutral bus bar so we're good there's earthed although there isn't an earth on this cable um so it's earthed through here um, so there's this case is earthed and also this box is earthed and then there'll be another earth which runs up through here which will uh, earth the uh, top lid so all good uh, so basically what happens is put my pencil down okay so if we this is power so if we switch it on PID controller uh, comes up. I mean, there isn't an awful lot to see because obviously there's no heating element. But uh, if I press the uh, run, I can either press run on here, or um, or I can switch this into a hold mode. And then if you put it back into a run mode, the controller comes on, and you can see the um, hopefully see the red light on the uh, solid state relay. Is now uh, the solid state really is now being successfully switched by the uh, PID controller. So uh, 
yeah, it all works fine. And if you um, look at what the POD controller is doing, obviously it's reading a temperature at the moment of uh, 14 degrees. This, this, is, this is the actual temperature on the thermocouple. So if I grab hold of the thermocouple, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, and uh, because now the uh, temperature of the thermocouple is, is higher than the set point, the output is switched off. And as the uh, as the set point as the as the set point a, a approaches the uh, thermocouple output, the output sort of flashes. And then finally, once it gets a couple of degrees higher, is now on permanently because obviously there's no heater. So what the the controller is basically doing is saying, turn the heater on because my set point is two degrees higher than my actual temperature so I want I want the heater on as soon as I raise the um, as soon as I raise the heater value to approximately the set point now 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 the uh, heater has gone off and now as the temperature drops the heater comes back on again so it's it's clearly it's clearly working it might not have quite the right PID values but um, it's it's operating as a thermostat. So uh, so anyway, um, enough wittering. Um, there you go. Uh, that was an evening's work. Um, and uh, seems to be okay. I'm fairly confident it's safe. Um, it's all earthed. And um, when I've got a decent mains cable running in there with a uh, with uh, live neutral earth, and uh, I've got a a fairly meaty strain relief. Uh, cable strain relief to fit in this hole so the the cable the mains cable when it comes in the bottom will have a some strain relief and I might also put a little um extra clamp in there just to uh, just to you know stop the cable from uh, uh, getting strained the the uh, this this connector here which was where the uh, heater wiring is going to go this this actually spins so basically as the lid is raised and closed and this this uh, cable protector, which uh, fits on here, moves backwards and forwards. This this twists rather than this twists rather than rather than all the cable getting snagged. So yeah, seems all right. Um, anyway, so uh, turn it off. Oh, there's an emergency stop here as well. So if I push this, that turns turns everything off. Basically, it, it turns the output off to get the output running again. Um, I either press run on here, you have to press it twice, once, twice, and now it's back on running again. So, um, kill the power, and it all switches off. Anyway, uh, any questions, fire away, uh, or safety concerns? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, cheers!